friends. I'm here with Travis today and we have a new story for you. We have been talking about um, some very special men and women of the Bible. Actually, they were young teenagers when they did some amazing things for God. And we have one we've been talking about and last week we talked about his friends. Do you guys remember the name of the friends that we talked about? They had some hard names, that's true. Do you remember any of them? Yeah, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And that, yeah, he's, oh, yes, true, yep. They were in a what? Ooh, they were in a fiery furnace. But God helped them, and they lived. God took care of them, even when things were looking pretty scary. And now, if you remember back a few stories, those were actually friends of Daniel. Daniel wasn't in there with them, but the Bible starts in the book of Daniel. It teaches us a little more about his life as he got older. Yes, he was. He lived in the palace. He was part of the king's helpers. But at this point in his life, it appears Daniel's probably a little older from what the Bible tells us. And there's a different king. It's not King Nebuchadnezzar. No, it's not. King Nebuchadnezzar is not there anymore. It's King Darius. And interestingly enough, King Darius loved Daniel. And he loved all the stuff that he... Yes, because Daniel was honest and Daniel obeyed God. Your paw's kind of stuck. There we go. <laughs> Instead of the false gods, he obeyed the one true God and did what his the one true God asked him to do. And King Darius had a special place in his heart for Daniel. And he had seen everything and how Daniel had worked hard and followed all the laws and was an honest person. And so he made Daniel in charge of a lot of things there in the palace. And well, guess what? Some of the people there got jealous. I know, jealousy's not good. Do you guys remember what jealousy is? We've talked about that before in one of our lessons. It's wanting something somebody else has. I think we used that word and we talked about Joseph and his, his coat. Yes, his brothers were jealous. That's right. They wanted what he had. And so some of the king's helpers, they didn't like that the king loved Daniel so much. And so they were jealous. So, yeah, jealousy makes things not good, huh? Yeah, jealousy's not good. Well, they were so jealous, they decided that they were going to... Uh, oh, yes. There you go. Better? Okay. Uh, that they were going to devise a plan. Oh, what does devise mean? Devise means to come up with a plan. They were going to think about a plan. A thing to get Daniel out of the picture. They did not want him there anymore. I know there's a lot of that going on, huh? Mm -hmm. And... So their plan, because Daniel was honest and he was good and they couldn't, they couldn't figure out, he, wouldn't, he didn't lie, he didn't cheat, he didn't steal. The only thing that he did that they thought, hmm, let's see what we can do with this, is he prayed. I know, praying's not wrong. He prayed to the one true God. He prayed every day, the Bible tells us. Three times he would pray out loud and he would bow and toward Jerusalem, toward where the temple was, and pray to the one true God. That's the one thing they thought they could get him on. So these bad guys, they went and they started talking to the king. And they said, oh, king, you're so amazing. You're awesome. You should make a law. And the king is like, oh, he got kind of prideful. Yep, pride's not good either. Nope, pride and jealousy, not good stuff. It doesn't lead to good things. He got kind of prideful and he thought, oh, yeah, I am pretty cool. I think I will. I should make a law that supports me, makes me look better. And they said, let's come up with a law that says that for 30 days, only people should only pray to you. And just, that's it. You're, you're it. And he thought, that sounds amazing. And so he did. I know, not good. Mm -mm, not a good thing. He put the law into play. And of course, Daniel... That was, mm -mm. he only prayed to the one true God. And so the bad guys, they were waiting. They knew that Daniel wouldn't follow the law as they knew Daniel's heart. And so they waited and they watched 
And the minute Daniel went to pray to God, to the one true God, they went and they told the king. They said, oh, king, king Darius, guess what? I know. Daniel's praying to God, his one true God, not to you. And the king, the Bible actually tells us the king was heartbroken because it, it was then that he realized what the bad guys were actually doing. But he had made a law and the law had to be followed. So they had to throw Daniel into the lion's den. That was the what they had put in the law that if you didn't pray to the king and prayed to somebody else, you'd get thrown into the lion's den. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen some big lions. They're pretty scary. They're loud, yeah, yeah, at the zoo. If you've ever seen them during feeding time or watched them on some of the shows, they're big and loud. And the king, he even told Daniel, he said, Daniel, I pray that your God takes care of you and that he watches over you in this lion's den. But they threw Daniel in and they put the stone over. And the Bible tells us that all night the king was up and he was worried and he just couldn't sleep. And the first thing in the morning, as soon as the morning came, he rushed over, he said, roll the stone away. And guess what? There was Daniel standing there, just totally fine. The Bible tells us that Daniel said, yeah, that's, yes, he did. God sent an angel to shut the lion's mouths and Daniel was fine. God had taken care of Daniel because of one thing. Yeah. Daniel obeyed. He loved God with all of his heart and he obeyed. And we can always trust in God. Even when we're scared, God's going to take care of us. He's got it in his hands, even when things don't look so good. Because I'm pretty sure Daniel got into that lion's den. Yeah, things didn't look so good. But God took care of him because he was good enough. He had it in his heart to honor God no matter what the cost. So, friends, that's a I love that story. I love all these stories we've been going over with Daniel and Joseph and Esther and David and Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, all these amazing, I know, yep. <laughs> they all had scary things they faced, but God took care of them. God's always watching over us, no matter what's going on. And that's something we can all uh, stand back and remember God is watching over us no matter what's going on. So I love you guys. Now, you know, your bow tie keeps getting crooked there, huh? It's because you keep turning your head. <laughs> and we are going to see you next week. We're going to start learning about what happened with the birth of Jesus because I know the holidays, yep, Christmas is coming up really soon where we celebrate the birthday of Jesus such a special day. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. I will see you next Sunday. Bye.